issues in DAX PHP comments. And we saw what they all meant. In this tutorial, we are going to actually focus on PHP variables and variable scopes, right? Um, an advice, please. As we go through this course, it is advisable that every exercise that is done, try doing it. That is a way for you to actually understand, right? So we are not actually going to waste much time and we want us to get started, right? Now, just think of PHP variables as containers for storing information. That is how variables are defined in broad terms. Variables are just containers. Think of variables as, for example, your fridge in the house that has where you store maybe your meat, where you store your uh, fruits and so on. That is what variables are all about. In PHP, a variable is declared with a dollar sign. So if you want to declare your variable in PHP, it has to start with the, the, the dollar sign and then the variable name. An example is what you see here. You have text equal hello world and point x equal 5, point y equal 10.5. So you see that when this is executed, the text right stores the the, the text the stores the string hello world. Point x stores five and point y stores ten point five. When declaring variables that are text, for example, you always learn to surround them in the quotations because that is when you are going to actually not have issues. If you define them without it, you are going to have issues. Like I said again, just think of variables as containers for storing data. So if you see these boxes, you see that uh, you have box 1 having Bob, box 2 having true, Bob, uh, box 3 having 35. That is to say that variables can store any kind of data, right? That is what PHP variables are all about. So I'm going to actually switch to my editor and we talk about variables in general so i'm going to actually delete this and we start from fresh php like i said every variable starts with what the dollar sign and the variable name like so if i have a variable called uh, name called andrew that is a variable that i've declared and and say age equal 25 and maybe the uh, location or the string again one that is how you declare variables in php i can actually echo out uh, maybe the name uh, i echo out the age the location okay. so that if I go to my browser where is my browser if I go to my browser and I want to actually access this I should have a uh, post of PHP you see that I have Andrew I have 25 I have Cameron that is how variables are declared now there is something you should note there are rules for naming variables in PHP we already made rule one Every variable name starts with a dollar sign. Next thing, a variable must uh, always start with, that's for example, sorry, a variable name must start with a letter or an underscore. So anything different from that at the starting will cause an error. Variable cannot start with a number, right? If you are declaring a variable name, you can't start it with a number. Variable can only contain alphanumeric characters that means a to z zero to nine and an underscore so if you are starting a variable with a star with a hash all of those are going to uh, cause uh, runtime errors variables are case sensitive okay so these are the rules that you should always put in mind when declaring and using variables in php let's go back to our editor and see that so if instead of wanting to echo that h with a small letter I put this and I refresh my browser i'm going to have an error on define variable name h that's what is meant by variables are case sensitive so um 
Other things in PHP are not case sensitive, but variables are case sensitive. The next thing is that you cannot declare a variable starting with a number. Immediately I put two here, you see we already have this red line to show that that is an error. So those are some things you should think about. But I can actually put an underscore and that won't be a problem. So if I come here and actually print H, I should be able to get an output H is 25. So those are some things, some rules that you should think about when naming variables in PHP. The next thing we are going to talk about is variable scope. Every language have their scope where you can declare a function and where you can where you can declare a variable and where you can use them. In PHP, variables for sure can be declared anywhere in your script. But something is different. The scope of a variable is a part of the script where the variable can be used or referenced. It means that you can declare a variable somewhere and try to use it somewhere and it does not work. That is where we start talking about the scope. In PHP, there are three main variable scope. You have the global scope, you have the local scope, and you have the static scope, right? We are going to explain that in detail. The global variables are variables that when declared out of a function, they cannot be accessed within a function. If we have a function that prints hello world, and we declare a variable out of that function, if we want to access it inside that function, we are going to have error. A local variable, when declared inside a function, it cannot be used out of the function, okay? And a static variable is a variable that you can reuse, right? When you call the function and you uh, call it again, there's, there's possibility of reusing. You are actually going to understand this when we go hands on. So I'm going to switch to my editor. I'm going to create a file called scope.php and we actually see. So if we have a function, say print hello, so we'll actually talk about functions in the later uh, tutorials, but I want to just just um, show you something. So if I say echo name, for example, right? Now, first thing, if I have my, my name declared here out of this function, right? One thing happens, if I run this, you will see an error because this variable called name is declared out of the function. And this variable that is declared out of the function is of the global scope. That is a global variable. So if I actually have to execute this, so just so you understand what I mean. Oh, I'm going to actually give it, yeah, we did not call the function. So I'm going to actually call the function. So if I forget to execute this, you see this error, an undefined variable. Because we are trying to reference a variable that was declared out of the function, right? That is what is meant by global variable. The next thing we are going to talk about is the, the local variable. And like we said, a local variable, when declared in a function, it cannot be used out of that function. So, if I say... Uh, name here is equal to uh, Tata, that's the name of course, if I say name is equal to Tata, and I come here, and I come here and call this function x2, x you should see that this is actually going to execute. So you have the first one which was global and was not understood, then you have Tata because we declare this variable within the function right i hope that is clear enough global variables when declared out of the function they cannot be used within a function so in general global variables are variables that are declared out of a function local variables are those that are declared within a function now i'll give this thing a different name let's say with a capital letter like we said variable names are case sensitive if i come out of this function and i'm trying to access this name we are actually going to have an error again let's try it out and see right so um, if i run this you see another undefined variable name 
right? That is what global variable and static variable are all about. The next thing we are going to talk about is um, what they call, sorry, that is what global and local variable are all about. The next thing we are going to talk about is the static variable. I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to actually declare a static variable. The static variable has the static keyword in it. We, we can declare static variables within a function. They can be reused and reused and reused. So I'm going to declare a function here and call it static. And I'm going to declare a variable with a static keyword and give it name or age is equal to one, right? then I'll echo out name or echo h and say h plus plus for example uh, h plus plus b right now if we call this function start see what is going to happen uh, something is wrong somewhere but try sorry we we cannot define the functions with uh, keywords so i'm going to actually start with double s just so we don't have this issue okay so we've declared our function and we've used the static keyword like we said in php the static keyword makes a reusability it means that you can reuse your variable over and over now if i come to my browser and try executing this code you see one right uh, let me try to call this function again plus three times you see one two three what is happening we said uh age was one and we incremented it what happens is this once you use a static keyword once this variable has been used it doesn't throw it away right it keeps it and the next time it uses it again now if i remove this static keyword what do you expect if we refresh this see one 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 right it means a static keyword you can use it to preserve the content of your variable so that you can reuse it again that is it about static and global and uh, local variables in php so um i think that was it about variables and hopefully it was clear enough if you have issues you can always reach out to us on the slack channel so that we get to help you right so we'll be going deep very soon into operators and operations in php and before we get to that um there is something i would like to point out if you want to access a global variable within a function there is a way to do that so I'm going to comment this out. And said name was not defined, right? If we run this this script, we the said name was not defined. Sorry, let me uncomment this part to call the function. Name is not defined. But if we want to access this global variable that we define out of function inside here, we can actually use the global keyword then we pass the variable name right now if we want to uh refresh this you see that we get our variable that we declared our function okay so just a recap so that you get to understand what we have been doing so far global variables are variables that uh, you declare if you declare out of a function you cannot use within the function right local variables are variables that can be declared within a function and can only be used within that function meaning you cannot use it out of the function the next thing is uh, the static variable that is used for reusability meaning that you can reuse in uh, your program one thing you should note again is that general programming concepts when you get to um declare a variable once it has been used within a function it is deleted automatically meaning that when you call the function and 
you have used that variable if you call the function the next time you are not expecting to have that variable that is declared before okay that is it about static global and local variable in our next dive, we'll be getting into operations and operators. It was necessary that you actually get to understand all of this. So, uh, thank you very much for.